Hi friends, how are you? Uh, in today's uh, session, I'll be explaining about zinc phosphate. This is one of the most frequently used metal pretreatment by many metal finishing industries. Zinc phosphate. Uh, you know the formula of zinc, zn, and the phosphate, PO4, 3 minus. So you can combine this and this is zinc 2 plus but as you expected it will not contain only zinc phosphate along with that you will be having iron phosphate also but this iron phosphate it when it becomes a ferric phosphate that is uh, uh, thrown out as the sludge so it is the a combination of phosphates and major you have got the zinc ion and phosphate ion okay and here uh, we have three types of zinc phosphate. One is light weight zinc phosphate. It is fine and crystalline. In fact, in spray type, we have got two types of application, dip type and spray type. In spray type, you will be able to get light weight fine crystalline phosphates, phosphate crystals. Um, and uh, this can also be used for dipping whereas based on the coating weight they are classified into light weight medium weight heavy weight light weight means the coating weight per square feet is 100 milligram to 450 milligram whereas it can be it can be interpreted in terms of gram per square meter also what you have to do is just to divide by 10 so that 1 gram to 4.5 gram per square meter and then medium weight 450 milligram to 1000 milligram per square feet so here somewhat heavier than the uh, light weight of course it is a medium so 450 milligram to 1000 milligram per square feet and in terms of gram 4.5 gram to 10 gram per square meter when you take one square meter component it will coat 4.5 gram to 10 gram okay so this is known as a medium weight and these two are applicable for coating industries where uh, after treatment of phosphating they will give the top coat the finish coat uh, with liquid paint or powder coat and the third variety is heavy weight so here 1000 milligram to 3000 milligram per square feet that is 10 gram to 30 gram per square meter square meter okay so here it will be slightly porous and it may not have aesthetic appearance and it will have a dead matte i mean matte finish also so if you want to have a super glossy finish with a single coat of uh, finish or double coat of finish then I would suggest you go for light weight where you cannot get the highest uh, corrosion resistance there will be moderate corrosion resistance in terms of salt spray hours resistance hours but when you go for medium weight this is always ideal for any automotive industries and this is somewhat a super weight nature okay so with the increase of coating weight you can have better corrosion resistance but it will sometimes uh, complicate also so heavier the coating it will be it will have the hygroscopic tendency so that the water test may go i mean uh, may be a failure okay so take care i would always suggest to go for the medium weight now single apart from that we can have a single pack phosphating system or dual pack with the accelerator okay so in my opinion always go for dual pack with the accelerator okay of course heat energy is required around 50 to 55 to 70 degrees centigrade but that is the ideal phosphating but as far as the cold process is concerned it will take it will take a longer duration okay and not only that it is not so efficient as that of dual pack also and the better crystal artist pattern can be achieved only by 55 to 70 degrees centigrade by using appropriate accelerators accelerators are nothing but oxidizing agents like nitrate nitrite chlorate 
nitroguanidine, etc. Okay, so uh, in single pack, uh, it can be done at room temperature itself, but in a dual pack, you have to maintain the temperature. And I'll be talking about the heating element and what are the expected problems while processing the uh, phosphate so that it should be useful in the uh, shopping floor level, shopping floor level. Then I need to talk about the uh, calcium modified zinc phosphate also. So here it will incorporate some, the formulator will incorporate some calcium salts so that it will it will be finer the coating will be finer very smooth and uh, uh, it has less sludge also so the major problem with uh, uh, phosphating is the sludge so nowadays uh, that is a nano coating has been developed based on uh, zirconic acids so i will talk about that uh, uh, zirconia coatings also so this is the latest uh, nano coating technology so that uh, it will be uh, eco-friendly and economical also and not only that the maintenance of bath will be very easier and you won't get any sludge and not only that uh, that is uh, it will have the finest coating okay and it will be ideal for uh, liquid painting as well as powder coating okay and there are a lot of uh, inquiries for nano coating also so if you are interested you can uh, uh, that is get your I mean uh, send your enquiries okay right uh, so in the next session I'll be explaining about how to maintain a bath okay so this is very very important and uh, how to construct a bath and uh, if there is any problem in the process what are all the important parameters you have to look into that okay and what are the bath parameters to be maintained all these uh, details will be given in my next video Okay, so thank you for watching this video.